Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and it's Throwback Thursday, another chance for us to look back into the history of smartphones and dig out an old gem. And one of my old favourites from a few years ago was this. This is the BlackBerry Pearl 3G, the 9100. Now there were two versions of the Pearl 3G, this obviously like I've already mentioned is the 9100 and there was also a 9105. And sadly that was the device that came to Europe, the one that came into the shops, it was the only one you could really buy here. So I had to grab this that was imported from North America. And the difference between the 9100 and the 9105 was pretty much just the keypad. This has a compressed QWERTY keypad like the old Pearls used to. Whereas the European version had a more European friendly keyboard. Less buttons, just your usual 1 to 9 keypad with the A, B, C, D, E, F like the old school phones used to be. But this is one of my favourite phones of all time. So let's have a quick look at why. One of the most appealing things about this phone when I bought it was its size. It's tiny. It measures in at 108 by 50 by 13.3 millimeters and weighs less than 95 grams, making it really light, really small, really easy to hold in your hand, use it one-handed, put it in your pocket. It was a great device. Specs weren't terrible, but they weren't market leading either. It had a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back with a single LED flash. It could record video. Quality wasn't terrible, but at the same time wasn't great either, especially when you compare it to something like the iPhone 4, which came out in the same year. The display on the front was only 360 by 400 resolution. But that may not sound like a lot, but when you see that actually the size of the screen was only 2.25 inches, the actual sharpness of the screen wasn't terrible either. It was over 200 pixels per inch. In fact, approaching 240 pixels per inch, which is still close to some of the phones that are on the market now. There was no front-facing camera which is great, you couldn't take selfies or make video calls. Now the design language of the Pearl 3G was something that we were used to seeing on the other ranges, but not something that was similar to the old Pearls. It was black, it had these sort of smoky, shiny, chromed finished edges to give it a really classy look. There weren't too many buttons around the outside. It did have volume buttons and it also had the customizable shortcut button, but these were all kind of hidden underneath this rubber grippy edge. It wasn't like they had a, a separate button sticking out, so everything was kind of seamless around the edges. On the top edge, it had a set of media controls so you could play and pause or skip tracks in your music, launch your media menu. And elsewhere on the outside you had a 3.5mm jack just above the micro USB port on the left hand edge. On the bottom edge there wasn't really anything except a microphone hole and a hole for the loudspeaker. This was a Blackberry for consumers. We were used to seeing curves and bolds and all sorts of other devices that had big chunky keyboards on it but the Pearl was one of those devices I loved even from the very first generation model, the 8100. Purely because it was small, it was easy to use, and it was still packed with all the BlackBerry features that you would expect. It had BBM, it had email, and email was instant, it was quick, and using the keyboard, I actually loved using the compressed QWERTY keyboard because it kind of combined with the predictive text in this, which was actually quite smart in predicting words, and it was a very fast typing experience. And because there were two letters packed into each button on the compressed QWERTY, the buttons were bigger, which made them a little bit easier to hit. The camera could take pictures, it had autofocus, it wasn't terrible, but I guess the less said about it, the better. It really wasn't in any way matching what else was on the market from other manufacturers, especially the Android and iOS devices. But this was one thing I've always loved about BlackBerry and something I loved about the Pearl. There were some things that BlackBerry always seemed to do really well. One of them was signal strength. I would always have four or five bars of Signal 3G on my Pearl, whereas on my iPhone 4 I would maybe have one or two bars. It also had an incredible battery life. I used to be able to go a whole week without charging this thing, and that was using it mostly as my primary device for a few weeks. In fact, I got rid of my iPhone 4 to use this because I had it hooked up to my Wi-Fi at home, so I switched my 3G off all the time, and I would switch the phone off at night, every single night. In fact, that's something I do with pretty much all my smartphones now. Or at least I used to before my central heating system relied on my phone to connect and, and control it. I remember I used to religiously charge this phone every single Friday. <laughs> and that, that was kind of like, that was as clockwork as it gets. I'd get to Friday and I would know I need to charge my BlackBerry. 
And surprisingly, I actually like the operating system as well. I like the menu system. I like the sort of pop-up side menus that you get from pressing the BlackBerry menu button. I like the way you could organize everything in the drawer. And there was a BlackBerry app world that had just launched and you could install things like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. So you could have all the essentials there. Granted, BlackBerry app world wasn't and, and still isn't chock full of incredible apps. But it had enough on there to get by and that combined with the small and lightweight phone, the easy to type experience, great email, great battery life. All of that combined at the time to make something that was really suited for me. And oddly, like I said, it replaced my iPhone 4, <laughs> which seems ridiculous when I think about it now, but it did. And I was happy for about six months. But the fact that I've still got it, I still keep it. I haven't sold it or got rid of it. It's still on my shelf and I won't get rid of it because it is one of my favorite phones that I have ever owned. Kind of wish that they'd make another Pearl now because that would be awesome. But I guess that's not going to happen. BlackBerry is pretty much out of the consumer market now. So this is the last remaining remnant of the time where BlackBerry really was focusing on the consumer market people who were used to smaller phones. So it's with sadness that I sign off this video. That was the Pearl 3G, the 9100, one of my favorite phones of all time. Hard to think it was only four years ago that it was released. I am Big Cam, I'm at PhoneDog underscore Cam on Twitter. Be sure to send me your comments, questions, anything you want to know about anything. I will see you again soon. <laughs> To warm up for my videos, I like to scat. Batman. Be ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba.